and students to our 2024 Arts and Letters 305 United 5th Grade Stepping Up Ceremony. <laughs> step up to middle school. We are so proud of the hard work and dedication it has taken for these young people to make it to this day. In some ways, in some ways, these past six years from their kindergarten to fifth grade has been unlike any in world history. This cohort has weathered the pandemic, remote learning, and coming back to in-person learning. That's something no other group of students has done before them. And yet, here they are, stronger, more experienced from the challenges they have overcome. Good morning, I'm Ms. Williams. Students, we when we stepped back and thought about your cohort as a whole, the three words that we settled on to best describe you are persistent, dynamic, and compassionate. You are persistent because you continued firmly on course in spite of all the difficulty and opposition. That pandemic was no joke. When the going got tough, you guys stuck it out and got through it. Thinking of this year specifically, when city budget cuts affected our very school and cafeteria, you made signs and yelled slogans for change. Your persistence paid off when your voices were heard. Welcome back, Dumplings. because you have a positive attitude and are full of energy and new ideas. With the Malayan Art Project, you took traditional West African art forms and made them uniquely your own. From new drum beats to intricate mud cloth patterns and terracotta figures, you expressed yourself and the things that are important to you. Like generations of artists before you, you brought a twist to something old, making it new and fresh. chose for you was compassion. Compassion because we have watched you show sympathy and concern for each other every single day of the school year. From personal moments like offering a friend a needed hug, or simply helping to clean the classroom without being asked to, to more academic moments when you showed compassion and empathy for Toussaint Louverture in the Haitian Revolution and Jerome in Ghost Boys. You have shown again and again that you care immensely through your actions and score. I gotta lower this thing a little bit. I have a tall great team. I'm Miss Thompson. Fifth grade, we hope that you will carry these amazing attributes with you into middle school and beyond. These next three years of middle school will be years of rapid growth and most likely change. But just like Sunjata, we hope you remain true to yourselves as you grow from young saplings into the mighty trees. Whether you are headed upstairs or to a new school entirely, we wish you all the best in middle school and hope you will come back to the second floor to say hello. honor each and every single student with a certificate of accomplishment, receive inspiring words from three student poets, enjoy a song sung by our very own fifth grade choir, and hear from our school leaders. But before we get started, please join us again in a round of applause for this very fine group of students.
So next, we would like to invite our first student poet to the stage from 501, Nico Green. <laughs>
Shia Levy. Maxwell Balanowski. Kai Mandible. Yeah. Noah Morris. Nico Nieves. DeAndre O. Violet Patel. Iris Prasad. Silas Vox. Pico Salasia. Olivia Soto Cha. Emily Sutherland. Lou Vinacore Thorson. And Josephine Warner. Congratulations, 501. But I will, or will you never come? This year, the three of us have worked in tandem 
um, and watched you guys grow. We are so proud of your hard work and the young people that you are growing to become. So thank you for your hard work and let's celebrate you guys. Um, please, 502, can you please stand? William 
I would like to present the student poet representing class 503, Lucas Phillips. Good morning, everyone. My name is Lucas, and I'm the student poet representing class 503. <laughs> um, the poem I will be sharing with you was a poem that Ms. Welcome read to us at the beginning of the year as we explored topics like perseverance and determination. As a class, we thought it would be nice to share it all with you to remind us of how far we've come despite all the obstacles. The name of this poet poem is It Could Not Can It Be Done. Okay. Oh. Somebody said that it couldn't be done, but we with a chuckle replied that maybe it couldn't, but we would be one who wouldn't say so till we tried. So we buckled right in with a trace of a grin on our faces. If we worried, we hid it. We started to sing as we tackled the thing that couldn't be done and we did it. Somebody scoffed, though you'll never do that. At least no one has ever done it. But we took off our coats and took off our hats, and the first thing we knew, we'd begun it. With the lift of our chin, with, with the lift of our chin and a bit of a grin, without any doubting or quit it, we started to sing as we tackled the thing that couldn't be done and we did it. There are thousands to tell you it cannot be done. There are thousands to prophecy failure. There are thousands to point out to you one by one the dangers that wait to assail you. But just buckle right in with a bit of a grin. Just take off your coat and go to it. Just start to sing as you tackle the thing that cannot be done and you'll do it. That was beautiful, Lucas. Thank you for representing Class 503. AKA the Fiery Hot Toppies. It has been an honor to be your fifth grade teacher this year. You know I shed tears last week, so today is a day of celebration. I would like to present your certificates um, in honor of the completion of your fifth grade year. 503, please stand.
James Adams. Alejandro Bermeda. Pilar Bonilla. Diazeri Brooms Richard. Avi Monroe Siobhan. Evie Cortez. Jaden Edwards. Mia Flishu. Pilar Granada. Noah Grant. Riley Huffman. Josephine Moreno. <laughs> Sophion Murtha. <laughs> Christian Pavone. Benjamin Rosenblum. Gabriella Ross. Suleni Sanabria. John Terrell. And we'd like to welcome our fifth grade choir and Mr. Rolay to the stage.
wonderful. And now we are going to quiet down for our final closing remarks today. So here we are at the end of our stepping up ceremony, closing this chapter of our elementary school lives, closing this first chapter in the book of your educational life. As we learn from Esperanza, growing is filled with mountains and valleys. Over these elementary years, you've shown your strength and your perseverance, and we are so very proud of you. Now, as we get ready to open a new chapter, one in which you will begin your middle school lives, you will be faced with new challenges, and you will overcome new obstacles. You will have more independence and more responsibility. You will use all that you've learned in school as an elementary student to make good and healthy choices. And we know that every one of you is up for this challenge. As you transition into this next phase of your schooling, please remember that each one of you is brilliant, that each and every one of you can accomplish things even when they are hard, and don't forget to ask for help when you need it. This is an important moment, a milestone that is the first of many you will accomplish through your lives, and we are so honored to be the first to say, welcome to middle school! Your students, your children. Yes, 